Situated in a quiet commercial district in North Ferndale, Farm Field Table has been connecting locally raised animals to consumers and top rated chefs since late 2016. Known for their amazing heritage meats and educational classes, we were excited to find out more about this family operated butchery. So we decided to pay Farm Field Table a visit and ask twin brothers and co owners, Matt and Mike Romine, to share their story. All right, so Mike and Matt, why don't you tell us a little bit about Farm Field Table and how you guys got this whole thing started? Sure, so Mike and I opened a restaurant together called the Mulefoot Gastro Pub in 2013. And my wife at the time was pregnant and I started to realize that I wasn't going to be able to work 100 hours a week, every night, every weekend, every holiday, mm -hmm. and be a dad at the same time. So I needed to find a way to continue to do what I loved, but also be able to be a dad at the same time. In our restaurant, uh, we sourced probably 95% of our products from within about 20 miles. And okay. so we were surrounded by uh, all of these farms that had any type of meat that you could imagine. And it was an incredible challenge to bring those proteins into our restaurant. Uh, a lot of legalities, a lot of logistics. When you combine all these things together, we figured that there must be a, a great number of chefs out there who were having the same difficulties. So. Yeah. Uh, we were able to kind of build the life that we wanted to have and also fill a gap in the marketplace. Yeah, you filled a need at that point that you realized that yes. you had yourselves. And we grew up in a farming and hunting family, so we've mm -hmm. been butchering animals since we were little kids. So it wasn't a big leap for us to say, look, we'll just make this available to everybody, skip all the middleman, and just focus on quality and do it right. So you mentioned that the legal issues of bringing in local uh, proteins to your restaurant was a big inspiration for Farm Field Table. So what about the business model here is solving that issue for yourselves and other restaurants? Sure. So the way that the system works is that the farmer has to deliver their product to a slaughterhouse. Mm -hmm. um, but most of the slaughterhouses in the area are what's called custom exempt, which means that I can bring you my animal and you can give it back to me, but I cannot sell it to anybody else. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, and so what you have to have is a USDA for retail sale stamp. So for us, what a lot of people don't realize is that we have a federal inspector in this building every single day of the week. Oh, wow. Uh, if they're not here, uh, we're not allowed to sell to somebody who is going to resell the product. Actually, we have on our team a person who's full-time job is just to interface with the USDA. Wow. There's a ton of paperwork, <laughs> there's a ton of rules, which right. is why almost nobody does it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. So tell us, uh, what makes your meat different than what someone would find at like a grocery store or something like that? Absolutely, it starts uh, first with how we source the animal. And mm -hmm. of course, you know, that's what makes us so different being chefs, we're really looking for a specific product. Uh, but it's not always necessarily how we treat it, but how they're raised. Right. Um, so we focus on heritage breed animals, which you know, the, the commodity world doesn't work like that. They right. can raise a hog in six months, yeah. whereas these heritage pigs that we use take about 12 months to raise. Um, but what's different about that is the slower they're growing, the more complex um, the flavor profiles you get to build um, in that time. Um, but so a lot of what we do is actually convincing commodity farms to switch over into a heritage line so that the supply is more uh, prevalent mm -hmm. um, and so we have better access to that product. You're letting them know the demand is there from the consumer. Yeah, 100%. And, and it's worth it for them to make that swap. Yes, and when you eat a pork chop from Farm Field Table, it will be entirely different than a pork chop you get at a mainline grocer. You know, they're just totally different products. Um, and some In a of, good way. Yeah, oh yeah. And some of my favorite experiences are when the little old ladies come in and they say, wow, this tastes like pork that I remember as a child. Right. Um, because it is, is so different. Then? Yes, it's so different. So it's really all about, you know, uh, small farms where people really pay attention to the animals, the amount of pasture land, the breeding, what they eat. It's how they're raised. Right. Well, that makes perfect sense. It makes a huge difference. Things people wouldn't think about that really impact what ends up on the plate and Absolutely. the quality. Absolutely. Absolutely. We also think it's really important to note that we are basically the last generation that can even make this whole 
uh, farm to table thing functional from the protein side. Yeah. Because when we go around meeting other chefs or hiring new employees, no one knows how to do this. Right. So if we don't train another generation, it's a good thing two of you. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> yeah, I wish like, there were like six of us. It, it, this is absolutely no slight to even the highest end chefs, but it's something that in the past was generational. You know, mm -hmm. you, you traded that information over the decades or whatever, but so many people have been lost over the last 20 or 30 years right. yeah. that we're basically at the brink of extinction. And when that happens, when small people don't know how to do this, we're at the whims of the big companies who will make the choices for us. Yeah, you feel a sense of responsibility. Tell us a little bit about your classes and what those are like. Sure, we run a whole animal butchery class uh, once a month. Uh, we've been doing it for about a year and a half now. So we, we cycle through four quarter beef, hind quarter beef, uh, whole hog, whole lamb, and sausage making. So they're Almost getting, anything. like the education of what you guys do while they're, you know, chopping things apart. Yeah, we love to nerd out and we, we get a little edgy, we get a little political. Uh, so it's it's a good time, it's both pretty, educational pretty long, and, of course. yeah, and also entertaining, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Before heading out, we stopped to ask retail sales manager, Frank Tarmina Jr about the delicious cuts we could expect to find while perusing the cooler. Well, you know, what we're really trying to offer everybody is the chance to make sure that you get the cuts you're looking for and get a chance to try something that you don't see everywhere. So, okay. you know, if you've got hot grills and empty stomachs and you want to fill it, Meet the 30 day dry aged ribeye. We love doing that. We call it holding meat court. I love it. Now, that being said, just about everybody's really comfortable with what a ribeye is, how to mm -hmm. cook it. Uh -huh. But there's so many jewels in our cows that people aren't aware of. Okay. Like, for example, the beautiful Denver steak. Okay. If you want to combine some flavors, think beef tenderloin with a little bit more flavor, okay. you only get that from a whole animal butcher. Now, we don't just do things that moo, but we specialize in things that oink as well. Okay. Get ready with heritage pork chops. Beautiful okay. things about pigs that are raised proper is their fat doesn't stretch, it melts. So nice. if you want something that when you take that bite that you just cannot wait to take the second, we can <laughs> definitely do that. And a farm field favorite, the pork leg filet. This okay. is going to be a larger pork tenderloin. You cook it the same way, but it is, again, just going to be so much more soft, so much more flavorful. So okay. if you're looking for something, definitely feel free to give us a call. We can have anything ready within a day or two, or just come on in and see what we've got that day. That's We're ready to, to take care of you. That sounds awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. We appreciate you. So we'd like to thank all you guys here at Farm Field Table for having us out today. If you'd like to find out some more information about what they have, you can visit them on social media at Farm Field Table or their website, farmfieldtable.com. And be sure to stop by their retail store here in Ferndale. Until next time, community, keep, keep it, it real. real. Hey you, and we're talking to you, person who made it to the end of our video. Thank you so much, it means the world to us. It really does. And if you're looking to buy a home, check out realcommunityhometeam.com where you can search homes in this area or anywhere in Michigan. And if you're looking to sell, be sure to check out our Real Results Marketing Plan, which can maximize your return by weaving your home story into our community show narrative. Also, do us a favor and click those like, share, and subscribe buttons. Thank <laughs> you.